What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope everybody's doing well out there on this uh, Wednesday morning. I'm doing pretty good myself. I'm just up on the other side of midnight now bringing y'all this content because I want y'all to note the do's and don't with dealing with Karen. Okay, this is a double feature. And uh, this particular video right here is what you do with Karen when Karen decides to challenge you and act up. I got a couple videos that uh, I want to show you guys. And then we'll get into this particular story. Check this out. And I got you on, on video that you're destroying my car. Thank you. Get the f out of this neighborhood. Now, y'all can see how Karen wound up. This is what you do when encountering a Karen, okay? We'll get into the don't, you know, after we finish this particular article right here. But to get into this story, let's just unpack it a little bit. It says, racist rant woman smashes neighbor's car with a hammer and shouts, get the fuck out and go back to Mexico in vile video. Now, as we can see, you know, after she told the Mexican woman that, you know, as she, you know, just got finished hitting the woman's car with these two hammers here, she wound up over here <laughs> kicking over, you know, um, garbage porters or what have you. And uh, this is the house right here where the sister came out and got in her ass. OK, now it goes on to say right here. She was taken into custody after the ugly incident. That took place on a Los Angeles street on Wednesday, according to TMZ. All right. This is her right here. You know, all the evidence right here of her stinking ass putting hammer dents and shit in this car. All right. The woman swings the hammer at the L.A. neighbor's vehicle. You know, she's standing her weird, retarded, little pissy looking ass up here with these fucked up ass rain boots on. I don't know what she's wearing. She just looks an uh, awful mess. You know what I'm talking about? Threatening. Okay, she was wielding two hammers as she hurled insults at her neighbor, the unidentified woman who has been dubbed the racist L.A. Karen was seen pounding on the neighbor's vehicle. Karen is a name often used to describe an entitled middle class white woman who talks down to people of color. Then she appears to walk toward her neighbor while wielding two hammers. All right. She then started the verbal assault, shouting Get the fuck out of here. Well, get the fuck off this neighborhood before hurling uh, other explicatives. The woman will continue to taunt the neighbor and yell for them to call the police. I am calling. Don't worry. The neighbor says. Okay. And uh, it goes on to say here the woman is later caught on video knocking over their recycling bins with a hammer. But then another neighbor confronted and physically restrained her. Edie Perez, who posted the video on Twitter, told TMZ that he and his uh, roommates, Edie, yeah, that says Edie, it ain't Eddie, but it says Edie, uh, his roommates have been harassed by the woman ever since moving into 
the house in the Chatsworth neighborhood of L.A. last year. Okay, uh, Perez told the news. So then that was a dude. Okay, let me let's let's continue to read. <laughs> I thought it was a woman. Anyway, Perez told the news outlet that the woman was arrested, but was later released due to coronavirus concerns. Too bad they can't do this with Mr. Bill Cosby. Hmm. To continue, the L.A. County Sheriff's Office confirmed to TMZ that a woman by the same name was arrested and released. A racist woman smashed my car in with two hammers for no reason. Perez wrote on a GoFundMe page. Uh, well, I'm thinking... I'm trying to see who what, what what's going on with this right here. I, I'm going to just call her a woman. Yeah, we'll just do that. The one who throwed her little, little pissy ass in the bushes. You know, walking around here looking like a lost ass Pippi Longstocking. That's just what she looked like. Um, to continue, I don't have full coverage insurance for my car, so anything will help. Perez later wrote, To everyone wondering about the good neighbor that helped, she is doing okay. Okay, it is a she. It is a she. All right, all right. We can relax there. I spoke to her, and we will do a follow-up video together, thanking everyone for the support. I am currently in Miami for work, and will do this as soon as I get back home. All right. Uh, we don't want to cause any harm to anybody in this situation. Simply wanted to raise awareness and get some help. Thank you again to everyone who helped. We appreciate it greatly. It is only the latest in a series of disturbing Karen incidents around the U.S. All right. Um, a woman in San Francisco threatened to call the police for chalking the words Black Lives Matter on his own wall. All right. Uh, any person in California launched a recent um, tirade. At, well, it says, excuse me, people, another person in California launched a racist tirade at a jogger telling her to go back to Asia while threatening her with violence. A few weeks earlier, well, a few weeks before, a white woman in New York City called the cops on a black man during a dispute in Central Park. She would lose her job is a result. Well, it don't make any difference simply because, you know, they gave her a little dog back, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure they probably gave her uh, employment back too, you know, until things blow over. But at any rate, this is my point. This is how you treat Karens. When they get the fuck out of line, put them back in. Now we're going to see what you don't do when dealing with a Karen, okay? Hang on a second. Check this out. We are eight miles in, in Livonia, and I have a woman standing behind my car telling me I cannot leave. This is ridiculous. She's like, this is let, not letting me leave out of a parking lot after she was rude to me and my children and disrespectful on side. I'm out here trying to do my job, me and my kids. Do you see this lady? Standing here behind my car. Thank you. 
Now, as you can see, this is what I'm talking about when it comes down what you don't do with Karen. All right. You do not reason with her. You do not respect her. You understand? You don't put up with her bullshit whatsoever. You understand? That's what it boils down to. The woman was actually unlawfully detaining her. She had no authority to detain this woman, period. You see what I'm saying? You do not reason with anybody like that. What you do, I know a lot of you going to say, probably, you know, well, there were children there and what have you. Well, the thing is this. The mother actually... Was teaching her children to put up with shit from low lowlifes like this Karen right here. You see what I'm saying? It's all about how we make the example. That white woman had no business doing what she was doing to this woman and her family. She even put her own baby in jeopardy. What if this sister right here was like, well, I don't give a fuck. If you don't get from behind my car, I'm running your ass over. Baby too and every damn thing else. You see what I mean? Like that story I did where that fake ass uh, Uber Eats uh, driver, you know what I mean, ran, ran over that sister because she wouldn't, you know what I mean, move because they had called the police for him doing some vandalism to the restaurant door, you see, and he was trying to leave. You know, what if she had a did that, see? It was all this white woman's fault, see? But let's get into this, this particular story right here. It says Park Strife. Bizarre moment, white Karen refuses to let black mom leave store car park after clash over her child climbing shelf. All right. Now, <laughs> her, I mean, this white woman, you don't own Kroger's. You understand? Now, I'm going to say this too before I go any further. Had white Karen been to Nisha, from around the way, I'm sure this sister would have lit her as a, I mean, they would have been turning in the store. It wouldn't have even made it to the parking lot. You see what I'm saying? This is the kind of shit I'm talking about when a lot of sisters, not all sisters, but a lot of them feel like they need to get all formal and respectful to white pieces of shit that don't have any respect for you. That's what it boils down to, you know? Okay, now let's get into this story right here. Again, we're going to read this, this particular you know, title. It says, The Bizarre Moment, A White Woman Would Not Allow a Black Woman to Leave a Supermarket's Parking Lot Because Her Child Stood on a Shelf Was Captured on Video in the Latest Karen Incident. Shanika Montgomery Strickland from Southfield, Detroit. And she from Detroit. Hmm. <laughs> was shopping at Kroger. Well, shopping at Kroger store when her son stepped on the bottom shelf to reach a Gatorade bottle. All right. And this Sasquatch right here, her big, nasty Sasquatch looking ass felt like she had to detain this woman as if to say, you, you, you know, you don't let your kids get up on the store shelves like she owned a damn place. But to continue, um, when she left the store, the woman, the white woman, that is. Stood behind Montgomery Strickland's car with a child in a buggy and refused to move. This needs to be known. You can't just stay hush hush about everything and keep on letting people get away with nonsense. The mother of the three uh, told Fox to Detroit. Uh, the woman whose name is unknown reacted when Montgomery Strickland stood on the shelf. She said, oh my God. They went up to get the Gatorade. <laughs> well, they went up to get they Gatorade. Yeah. And I'm trying to shop here. It was irritinous. Yeah. This bitch can't talk. I'm talking about this white one. She said this shit. Let's read this again. She said, oh my God. They went up to get they Gatorade. And I'm trying to shop here. It was irritinous. <laughs> Montgomery Strickland continues. Oh well, oh well, well. She continued. It was her who said it. Man, learn how to talk shit. Okay, got me blaming the wrong. Anyway, this mother, this Sasquatch right here in a uh, nasty ass looking T-shirt and these old nasty ass looking jeans, standing all crooked, harassed her. 
argue. See, you don't reason with these motherfuckers, man. You don't reason because you, if you keep reasoning with them, keep doing this shit. Uh, to continue, I told her, please don't yell at them. Listen, please don't yell at them, you know? And then she started yelling at me. And I said, you don't have to yell at me. They got the Gatorade. And a lot of people were uh, where if you're not, if you're sure you're going to go up there and grab what you need. Hmm. There's not a lot of workers in the aisles. You have to do what you have to do and you move on. When Montgomery Strickland walked out to her car, the woman went to her car, came back with the baby. She recalled. She called me the B word. That's bitch, y'all. You know what I mean? See, he's getting all formal and shit. See what I'm saying? And from Detroit. See, anyway, let me see. Called me the B word. Then she stood behind my car because I started videotaping after that. I said, ma'am. Can you please move from my car behind my car? She told me, no, I'm not going anywhere. Montgomery Strickland said, All right? Hmm. Like I said, I I'm sure of it. Had it been Tanisha or Laquanda, shit, please. Mm -mm. They'd have been, they would have fought. They would have started in the store all out in the damn parking lot by now. It wouldn't have been like that. See, this, this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. I don't like that. See, if you can be that way with your own damage, you ought to be with, with, with towards your enemy, the real enemy, this right here. See, that's the reason why they think they can do what they want to do. In conclusion right here, it says here, the incident is the latest in a string of Karen's incidents. The nickname for a white woman who is often racist and complaining. Investment bankers Amy Cooper was fired from her job at Franklin Templeton last month after she threatened to call the cops on a black man who asked her to leash her dog in New York City's Central Park. A white woman was slapped in the face. <laughs> yeah, the S made Karen. Uh, slapped in the face for telling a native woman at a convenience store to go back to Mexico. Lisa Alexander, the CEO of a San Francisco based skincare company, threatened to call the cops on James uh, Hunelio. Yeah, a Filipino as he painted a black life. Black Lives Matter stencil on a wall in front of his own, well, in front of his home, all right, in San Francisco. Whoo, we the entitlement, all right? In Montgomery Strickland, yeah, in Montgomery Strickland video, the woman calls the police and can be seen running up to officers as soon as they arrive. The officers took details from both women, but eventually asked. The white woman to move from, you know, move from, yeah. What is wrong with people? Montgomery Strickland added, all right? Um, why are they still out here doing this after all that's going on? All the changes we're trying to make after Black Lives Matter? Hmm, question. It makes no sense. It don't make no sense. And it don't make any more sense as you stood up there and put up with the shit. And all the cop did... And he didn't, he didn't give her no citation for harassing this woman or unlawfully detaining her, meddling, not nothing. Just told her ugly, bad, built ass to move. And she did it. You see what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Y'all got to start putting in work on these Karens and stop getting all formal. Take it from the sister in the, the uh, prior video. She said, I'm tired of you bitches, Karen, you Karen bitches. You understand what I mean? And threw that motherfucker in the bushes. With a little, little trifling tramp balloon, looking like a little pissy ass pippy long stocking. And this one, like here, like I said, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Big nasty ass Sasquatch. You understand what I mean? Here's Bigfoot right here. Y'all tell me what y'all think about these stories right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and please subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.